Hello and welcome to Tensile Ground Coffee, a few minutes on ground engineering to enjoy it while having your coffee. Well, it's uh, Ask Andrew time again. Uh, let's see what the, uh, the latest question uh, is. Uh, we got one in yesterday from, uh, from Sandy, Sandy Gravel, and she asks, uh, why do we need site investigation? Okay, what a great question for ground engineering. Every site needs a site investigation, but why is that? So you've got, uh, you've got a client interested in developing a project. Here's the nice site. Looks prime for development. And you tell him we need to do a site investigation. He says, what for? What do I get? Well, you get um, some soil samples and test results. He's thinking, okay, I don't really see the value of that. Okay, just do the minimum site investigation and uh, we'll go ahead. The risk, of course, of doing that is um, two main risks. First of all, uh, you start the construction, all the designs being done based on a certain set of parameters for the ground. You start construction and then something unforeseen happens. If this is the site, maybe it was assumed pretty uniform ground conditions, but there's some big horrible uh, geological hazard of some kind that was not seen in the site investigation. This is called unforeseen ground conditions, the most common cause of delays and additional costs on a project. Uh, in many cases unforeseen ground conditions could be insufficient site investigation, although people don't like to say that. We've got delays on our site because we did an insufficient site investigation, but in many cases, if the site investigation was better and more was spent, then these ground conditions would have been foreseen. Now, so it's a big risk if you go into a project with insufficient site investigation because you could get a big problem like this. And if you discover it during construction, you've got all those delays and standing time and a rush to try and find the solution. The final um, means of overcoming this problem may be much more expensive than it would have been if it had been designed at the start. So it's a big risk. Now, if the client is prepared to take that risk, there is another argument for a site investigation, which is about the economy of the, uh, of the solution. So if we don't have sufficient information, let's say about this site here, so we will take a low strength of the soil in our design because we don't have much information about it. So no engineer is going to take the risk and say, well, this strength is probably better than uh, it's likely to be. You're going to say it's probably, you're going to take it a value that's less than it's likely to be because of the uncertainty and you don't have enough information. So that means when you do the design with these values of the soil, everything becomes more expensive. Everything has to be bigger to support uh, whatever you are building here with these very low strengths. So that is an incentive to do more site investigation, to improve the, the values of this, to get more certainty about the soil, which means that you can be less conservative in design and uh, save money overall. So a good argument for a site investigation is just to cost up the different options. So you could say uh, option A costs this much, but you do no extra site investigation. So we're very conservative and this is quite expensive. Or you could go to option B, which costs less than option A, but you do need to do uh, some extra site investigation. But the cost of those two together is actually less than the cost of this. So that is a good justification for site investigation when you can actually uh, put the uh, a monetary value to the cost of the extra site investigation but also the savings in the design given that extra information. So there you go, a quick overview of why we need site investigations to avoid the risk of unforeseen ground conditions and extra costs and delays but also for greater economy in the design when we have greater certainty about the ground conditions under a site. Okay that's all for this episode of Tensile Ground Coffee. Thanks for watching and see you next time.